Here's what it takes to coach in Europe. Oh yeah, inches to spare, thought through. Uh, we're about two and a half hours uh, southeast of Salzburg, and we're in an area called Lachtal, Austria, and we're here for a Europa Cup this weekend. There's a parallel giant slalom and two parallel slalom. And the reason that we come over to compete in the Europa Cup is because it's a good stepping stone between being on the North American Tour and being on the World Cup Tour. It's where you uh, learn to race, it's where you learn to win uh, before you move into the World Cup. So every continent has a Continental Cup. You have an Asia Cup, NORAM Cup, and a Europa Cup Tour. If you're on the NORAM Tour, there's one or two guys where our team is trying to, you know, could, you know that could beat our guys at these races. But when you come to the uh, Europa Cup Tour, what you might find is that it's not that the riders are that much stronger than our guys, but what we find is that there's 50 of those guys instead of two of those guys that they're trying to beat. You can imagine, you know, after that many people have gone, that the course gets uh, significantly rougher. You get holes where you thought holes were not possible. And, uh, and the inspection you did when the course was smooth might not look the same as when you actually get to go after your rider 130. A lot of the guys are trying to be too aggressive in soft snow conditions. They end up driving their edge in too much. Slow themselves down because they're used to being on hard, icy snow. So you really have to have a softer touch on your edge. People take time to get used to the feeling of how the snow reacts under their feet. And um, as much as the courses can be in rougher conditions over here at times, uh, also, it's just the feeling of the snow, so the way the snow reacts to the board, and that takes a little bit of experience to get used to. And as you can see right now, once again, we're dealing with warm spring conditions here in Austria. So we've had to go for warm wax, when generally the boards have been running cold wax most of the season in Canada. There's definitely pros and cons to being in Europe. I think that uh, one of the pros is just getting to see all the unique cultures that are over here, the, the beautiful, um, buildings and the, the landscape. From like the hill, the scenery, everything over here is just awesome. And like meeting all sorts of people from around the world is really cool. You, you never know what's, what's, uh, what's behind the next corner for challenges or, or changes or things that will challenge you as a person and as a racer. And, and <clears throat> I think before you get on the World Cup Tour, it's important to come over here and get used to those changes so that uh, it's not such a big stress when you finally get there. It's something that's normal and Europe is not a whole different continent, it's just, just an extension of, um, of who you are as a racer, because if you can't get comfortable racing in Europe, it's going to be really hard to do well over here. Plans are good until you get punched in the mouth. <laughs> there's, there's milestones in every uh, racer's career, and in, in snowboard racing, a Europa Cup win is a big milestone. It's, it's a very, very beautiful win, it's a very, uh, it's a, it's a cool win for sure. I think, you know, uh, Europa Cup win, Junior Worlds win, th those are, those are uh, meaningful wins and they actually mean a lot when it looks at, goes to uh, showing potential for the future. So how they could do in World Cups, World Championships and so on. So uh, for, for me as a coach, you know, when I'm looking, um, I, I'm looking to see those successes.